What's up everybody? So despite price action in Bitcoin, there's been very, some very good news. Another country is talking about adopting Bitcoin just like El Salvador. The bill is very similar. Uh, the head of the Fed, Jerome Powell, testifies in front of the Blockchain Caucus. And what did he say? Good stuff. Gary Gensler is at it again. He's the head of the Fed, uh, the chairman of the SEC, and uh, he's hardening his stance. What does it say? And what is the debate with the SEC against crypto all about? And if you stay till the end, I'll just dive in a little bit into the major crypto regulation risk that everyone should know about. All right. Um, but that's a lot to unpack. But before we get into it, uh, welcome back to HowAboutThatCrypto.com. Um, I'm your host. Bitcoin stylist on Twitter and on Instagram. I am Bitcoin hairstylist. Um, you're watching daily crypto news and updates in 10 minutes. Our mission at HowAboutThatCrypto.com is simplifying and making more accessible the world of crypto, Web3, and digital assets. Now, just to be clear and litigious, this is not financial advice. This is for entertainment purposes only. You can use this information, the links that are going to be in uh, the YouTube channel, as well as the uh, Twitter, which you can get to through the link tree on Instagram. You use those to do your own research before making any investments, or you can sit on the sidelines and, and just pay attention to what's going on, which, you know, either way, the best thing to do is stay in tuned. All right. So please like, comment below, give me feedback. If also, if you want to support me, please uh, go to the go to YouTube. If you're already watching on YouTube, please subscribe and click the bell, and uh, it helps support me. It doesn't cost you anything. All right. Today's edition of Daily Crypto News and Updates in 10 minutes with your boy Bitcoin Stylist on Twitter, um, which I put all the links on. Um, so the today we're talking nation adopting Bitcoin question mark friendly Fed question mark. Regulation risk, which is very, very important. Everyone should know about what's going on in the regulation world. All right, so first, adoption. The country of Tonga, it's a Pacific nation with 169 islands with only 36 of them inhabited. It's a, they only have 100,000 people um, on, the, on the island, in those islands. They have a $500 million GDP, and 39% of that is remittances, so... What's that? Four times five, two hundred million dollars uh, is being every year is going into the country from other countries. Uh, El Salvador accounts for twenty four percent, but they have a larger GDP. Um, so Lord Fushua, Fushua, Fushu, F U S I T U A. Uh, sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Uh, he's a former member of parliament. Someone asked, like, what's the deal with this going on? And uh, he said, uh, September, October, there's a bill that goes to parliament. And then uh, it's sent, it gets sent to the Palace of Office for submission to His Ma Majesty for royal assent. About a month later, His Majesty, as advised by the Privy Council, assents to the bill. Two to three weeks later, there's a gazetted by the government activation date, and then it becomes legal tender. So basically... He's saying that by November or December this year, if this bill goes through, this will become legal tender. That'll be the second a second country to adopt that has a large amount of remittances. And so keep an eye on that. If that happens, that's huge. Other countries could fold in. And the more countries that do it, the higher adoption uh, goes. All right. Fed Chairman Jerome Powell testifies in front of the Blockchain Caucus. Um, Okay, so the Blockchain Caucus is put together a few years, a couple years ago, to put to just check on, watch, uh, look into the blockchain and Bitcoin, uh, crypto. So they're supposed to put to, the Fed is supposed to put together a crypto report uh, last September, but they haven't. And Jerome Powell said it's coming soon, so watch for that. Focus is on stable coins and CBDCs. Um, I'll do a video about those uh, soon, but basically they're uh, a dollar in the crypto world, like a synthetic dollar. Uh, versus a dollar issued by a uh, crypto dollar issued by the central bank. Powell said that stable coins can coexist with the CBDCs, which is really good because that's a friendly statement to uh, the current the industry as it is now. And also, the Fed Powell said the Fed should not be a retail bank issuing CBDCs to people, which is a very interesting. So let's see how that unfolds. Uh, but bottom line, that's bullish news because the industry can kind of keep chugging along without concern that there's going to be some disruption in the stable coins. Okay, now we get to the self-proclaimed cop on the beat for crypto, 
chairman of the SEC, Gary Gensler, is back on TV talking crypto regulations. This guy talks and you gotta listen because he is, he does carry some weight and some power and um, unless Congress restricts that power, then that looks like that he's gonna be the guy. So um, in a recent CNBC interview, Gary Gensler said, crypto tokens, I will call them, are raising money from the public and they are sharing with the public the same set of disclosures that helps the public decide and are complying and are they complying with truth and advertising and then he added it doesn't matter if it's a crypto token a, a SPAC there's if there's these are something new but what's old and really important is the basic idea that if you raise money from the public and the public is thinking about a profit you have to give them basic disclosures okay so if you're like Robert that was a lot of information basically Gary Gensler said if you're raising getting money from the public by selling your coin then you have to give disclosures, which is a rule. Like if you go public, there's these steps and you know, this like basically like these are the risks, you know, this is all the information. These are our books. These are our finances. And, um, quite frankly, like I get that, like, I don't I disagree with that, uh, for the record. So none of you crypto people don't get angry at me for saying that. But, um, anyway, so there is a, he was pressed, Gary Gensler was pressed on Ethereum, which is, you know, one of the big ones. There's Bitcoin and Ethereum, which are the biggest. And, um, Bitcoin is still considered not a security, which I'll get into in a second. So basically Bitcoin is safe. You know, this is just the news as it is now, but as it is now, Bitcoin is deemed a safe, a safe asset from regulation risk. So you could buy Bitcoin and don't you don't have to worry about the government coming in and saying that this is not okay and we're going to make this hard for you to use or or we're going to ban it or anything like that. There is zero talk about Bitcoin being banned, which implies that it might be around for a while. Just saying. Um, okay, so Yahoo Finance. Um, so to expand on this, we're going to get into this regulation stuff. Um, the big conversation is, is it a security or is it a commodity? Uh, think a security, is it a stock, like in a company where you're putting your money into a, buying a stock, a share of a company and you, because you think the company is going to do well and that, that the value is going to go up as the company does well, that's a security. I know it's deeper than that, but that's the most important part that you understand. And then a commodity is basically like currency or gold or oil. Those things, if you buy them, you can speculate that the prices go up, but you have no real reason to think they're going to go up other than your opinion, not because there's some company that's going to make it go up. So that's the difference. So it's a, is it a stock or is it like a cash or a commodity or something that has utility and doesn't have somebody controlling it? And Okay, so in an announcement of Yahoo's Finance in June of 2018, uh, at the All Market Summit Crypto in San Francisco, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission Director of Corporate Finance, William Henman, said the commission would not be classifying Ether or Bitcoin as a security. The commission's policy is in line with the SEC Chair Jay Clayton about Bitcoin, that cryptocurrencies are not securities and the definition of, of security would not change to include Bitcoin. Clayton said digital tokens were securities, but cryptocurrencies were not. Henman's announcement marks the official position of the SEC. The name is important, but the way in which it's sold, promised, and behaved is key deciding factor. So basically, the same thing. Like if there's a company issuing these coins, then the SEC then the SEC says that that is the same thing as selling stocks. Now the big debate is whether or not like you can apply the same rules as a security because at the end of the day. A security, and this is like staying until the end. This is like the regulation risk. This is the higher arcing story, you know, as I wrap this up. So security versus commodity. I'm going to talk a lot about that. Is it a stock or is it more like cash? Like right now, I buy Ethereum so that I can buy Axies, uh, NFTs in a game so I can play that game. And so therefore, my expectation for Ethereum is not that it'll go up. It is I'm using it so that I can participate in buying this stuff at the, in the game. Now, that doesn't mean that other coins aren't things that I expect to go up because the project is doing well. Now, so the question is, if I buy Bitcoin to speculate that it'll go up, I buy Ethereum because I use the Ethereum network and I need Ethereum for transactions and to purchase things on it. 
So therefore, by that definition, it is a commodity or a currency. So, so basically, we need to figure out like what is the SEC going to do about it? What is Congress going to do about it? What, where, who does it fall in? If it's a commodity, it comes under CFTC, which is the Commodities and Futures Trade Commission, and uh, they they're a little more. That's a little more friendly. If the SEC is like these are securities, then it's less friendly. And uh, there's a lawsuit going on with Ripple Labs and XRP. I'm gonna get into that tomorrow. So we're gonna do a deeper dive into this regulation stuff. Everyone needs to know this. There's been some developments, but in the meantime, please like, subscribe, give me feedback. I need your feedback. Thank you to everybody who's been helping me. And um, tell me what you think. You know, I want to hear your 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 input and your thoughts. All right. Until then, hodl on. Have a good day. I'll talk to y'all later.